Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hop Bergman Explained video. Today we're going to talk about making moonshine. Now for Hoff Bergman 1.5, if we buy the island over here by the fishing lake, farmland ID 51, it's going to cost $63,096. Then we'll have access to a still, the moonshine island, if you will. So if you wander through this island, you'll eventually come upon the still. But we're going to have the ability to make mash. And we're going to take this mash and take it over here to our cook pot and distill some moonshine. And then we're going to be able to sell our moonshine at a couple different locations on the map. Come down here to our prices screen. You're going to see that moonshine is going to be available for sale at the church as well as the beer parlor. Now, with respect to both of these prices, we are on easy mode for these videos, but with easy mode, $36,400 per thousand liters. Now, each of these crates is 50 liters of moonshine, so that's going to equate out to $1,820 per crate. Again, that is on easy mode. In order to make shine, you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need at least one refillable bucket. You're going to need some bags of sugar and some bags of maize. We're going to find those in the shop. We're going to go to objects and then under consumer goods. We're going to be able to buy a bag of sugar for $25 for 25 liters. And with 1.5, we can now also use the amount indicator to change how much we buy as opposed to having to buy one bag at a time. In addition, we're going to buy 25 liters worth of maize for $50. We're going to also need to get the refillable bucket. I have two here, but I would say you need at least just one. Now, I've already got this full of mash. We're going to first empty the mash. And then we are going to show you how to... Fill the mash back up. We need to position our bucket just so until we get the start filling indicator. We're going to bring it over here to our pot, our cook pot, and we're going to tip it in. Basically, the cook pot will hold 200 liters worth of mash. And once we have that done, we're going to come over here. We're going to hit R to turn on our distillery. We get some nice flames underneath of it. And if we look here, we can see, I don't know if you can see in the video or not, but we do see a steady flow of shine coming out of our still into this bucket. Once we get 50 liters of moonshine, then it will spawn a crate with jars. As far as making our mash, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add one bag of maize. We're going to tip it in so that it squirts out. Typically, it would take the entire bag, but for some reason, there was a little bit left over from my last batch. Now we're going to shoot in a bag of sugar. Again, it's going to typically take one bag per batch. And then we're going to put in some water. So I already have some water here. We're going to need to get some more water. Conveniently, there is a spigot located right here. So we're going to bring our bucket to underneath the spigot. It's going to autofill. And let's go and try to fill this up just a little bit more. Like 
so. And once that full, we're going to turn it on, which is going to cover it. So while it is covered, it is now basically making mash. Back over here, we have our still. As you can see, we have our temperature gauge there. And it's just going to keep running until we basically are out of mash. You can also turn on a nice light. You get a lantern there and right there. And let's go ahead and fast forward time. Now the still's been busy hard at work all day and all night. The fire has gone out, so we have now consumed all of our mash and converted it into all of the moonshine that we can. We got a total of two crates out of that. Then our mash is just about done as well. We have six liters of sugar, six liters of corn left over. That's why we didn't use all of our corn and sugar from before. And now we just start the process all over again. Now in a previous video, we have shown how you use the boat in order to fish over here at the lake. I don't think we really need to comment too much more with respect to using the boat in order to transport our products to Shine Island or back from Shine Island. Now that we have one crate of moonshine, we do want to go ahead and show you selling that over here at the church. Shine in the back of the truck. And back up here at the church. And see if the priest is interested in uh, taking a little bit of a nip. Hey buddy, what's up Shine? Well, my gosh. $1,789 from a night's worth of work. Not too terrible bad, if you ask me. So guys, that is going to do us for another video here on our Hoff Bergman Explained series. With the 1.5 update, we've already seen how to basically sell chicken meat using the new food trucks and where we can sell those. This video we saw how to basically make moonshine. There's one of the chicken trucks right there. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a little tick up in the upper right corner. Go ahead and check that one out. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. We're going to be putting out more videos in the coming days with respect to all of the new features in Hoff Bergman 1.5. We also have videos covering all of the other updates to Hoff Bergman from 1.0 all the way up to 1.5. We encourage you to go check those out as well. And until next time, happy farming.